I, I really, really, really struggled with setting personal boundaries for a really long time in my life because I tend to be more on the empathic, empathetic side of the scale of personalities, which means that I just kind of wanted to allow everyone just to be in my space and be in my bubble, and I just wanted to to give and help and support everyone. And this... Yeah, which is, even if they have a different religious view, you still want to try to help everyone, which is what makes sense to me. But... ...led me to, to feeling really overwhelmed by everyone's energy around me and feeling a lot of the time really, really drained and really, really sucked dry by everyone in my life because, like I say, I wasn't setting healthy boundaries. I was allowing everyone to just um, take, 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 take from me. I was allowing everyone's energy to um, infiltrate my energy fields and I had no way of kind of balancing that out. And then I know people who are kind of on the other side of the spectrum who have trouble um, connecting with people and have trouble with intimacy and have trouble with um, feeling safe in relationships because their boundaries are so strong, right? Like they don't let anyone in <coughs> and it takes forever for anyone to be able to kind of like penetrate the wall they've built around their heart. And so the first... We call those people Pharisees. The thing that I want to say about setting healthy boundaries is... The very first, most important thing you need to have before you're ever going to be able to figure out how to set a healthy boundary is to have self-love and self-respect, okay? So if it doesn't really matter on what side of the scale you're on right now, if you are at a place where, um, so self, where you don't have self-love and where you don't have self-trust, okay, so self-trust is really, really a huge thing in this, if you don't have self-trust, you're never going to be able to set healthy boundaries, because either you're going to be way on the side and saying, you know, I don't really trust myself, which then is going to be reflected out in how you don't trust other people, so either you don't trust other people to take care of themselves, you don't trust other people to be able to handle their own stuff, you don't trust other people to be able to handle their own energy and handle their own situation, so you become this big open, open field where you don't trust anyone, so you allow everyone in or you don't trust people to be nice to you, you don't trust people to be able to um, handle your heart or handle your emotions, you don't trust yourself to be able to handle what people throw at you, and so you close yourself totally off, right? So if you don't trust yourself, and if you don't love yourself, you will have a hard time finding that balance of how to set a healthy boundary. So the first thing so that's something to really consider is like how you let people in or keep, cut people out. It's, a lot of it's related to self-trust. There's a different perspective than what I've heard before. 